Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I've been gone for the past month or so. So I haven't had a chance to finish the lifting Mazda speed. What do you want? Come to help? You never help. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Jeez. Yeah, like I was saying, right before I left, we, we put tiles, wheels and tiles on, did some cutting, but still rubbing really bad in the front. Didn't have enough time to figure it out. So today, I'm taking the hammer to it. Is we're gonna have to beat in that firewall. She's not gonna like it. Okay, I've gotten both firewalls beaten in, but I can turn the wheels a lot more than I used to be able to. It's not perfect, it's still rubbing back there, which I'm just, I'm just gonna have to get coil levels to try to raise the coil up a little bit more. Cause right now it's just it's still too low in the front. It's just rubbing the firewall too much still. But at least I can turn. Before I can only turn like this a little bit. Okay, I did a bunch of beating with Mr. Sledgy, and it's helped quite a bit so far. I've also beat the back. As you can see, it's pretty bad. If a bunch of people are wondering why I'm doing this or why I'm destroying a perfectly good core, that's why. I've been mean, getting a lot of heroes anyway. Oh well. Uh, for the most part, driving around, it's, it's, it's fine, but every time I hit a little bump or turn a hold, it's, it's squatting and still rubbing pretty bad, so I've been slowly trimming away different areas and beating different areas to clear it a little bit better, but so far the biggest issue is definitely the suspension, it's way too soft. So definitely gonna have to replace those. I'm trying to find some coilovers right now. Help stiffen them up. So let's do some more cutting. Looks pretty good. Look, like I'm clearing everything. Nothing's rubbing. So this wheel should be good. Now I gotta move to that one. Do the same thing. Gonna jack it up. Jack the wheel up. See what it touches. And chop that bit off. Okay, I did some trimming on the back passenger. Looking 
pretty good. Now I'm off to the front. Timbers did the same thing. I jacked it up. Put the jack underneath the little control arm. See what's touching or close to touching. And I'm gonna do some more trimming. Okay, this side is cut. Now back to the travel front. Have it mocked out. Time to chop. Well, I'm done with this side. Touch some of the shit I've chopped off. Now I've got to take it for a test drive for like the 20th time. See how much these still whoops. Okay, I'm back from my test drive, for the most part, did pretty good, I'm happy with it. Only some light web edge and it's kind of expected. So I pulled it back in, took the hammer to the spots that needed to get hammered, and I hooked up the real sway ball. Because apparently it still reaches, well it's kind of a stretch, but I'm going to see how that works. Because I'm not going to lie, this car does have a lot of sway and it feels kind of sketchy. And I'm also working on the front sway bar. But in order to get it out, I end up cutting it. The lengths. So, I went through some of my random parts I have and I found these links. And I'm going to see if I can make them work. Fun. Alright, I got one side of the sway ball on. I know it's a little um, sketchy or ghetto. As you can see, I cut this one in half, twisted it so it lines up, and I put a spacer in it so it kicks it out to make up for the, the length distance. And it, it might work. So I won't know until I beat her up and <laughs> see if she snaps or not. Okay, I got the sway ball links on, it's a little ghetto, but it works. Not done with the walks. This is the first time. Now she's driven it. Oh, <laughs> I, it's still stuck. First time she's driven it with the big tires on it. I guess some of the next thing to do is put the lip on and the side skirts on. Of course I'm going to have to trim them to match what I cut on the core.
Okay, I want to show you guys what I have so far. I haven't finished the other side of But I want to show you guys what I have so far before I lose daylight. Lip is on. Got trimmed up. And I have driver's side side cut on. All trimmed up. Which, once we start playing, I don't really expect for the stuff to last. Just for looks. I'm just gonna finish the other side. And a dock. So I took the car for a little test drive. You know, got up to speed about 60 or so. Did pretty good. No issues for the most part, except for the zip tie broke on the bumper and the tile rubbed through the bumper. So now my my lines all messed up. I worked hard on that. So I was going through some of my old junk that I have because I've had way too many cars, way too many projects, and I found these cheap. Coils. and it happened to be for a Miata it was for an NA Miata but probably still work so I'm gonna put these on the fronts and raise it up stiffen up a little bit
So I got the cheap eBay coil sleeves I found on the call. I uh, took it for a few test drives and did pretty good. I'm happy with it. Uh, it didn't make it didn't make the suspension really stiff, like violently stiff. But it's it's bearable. It's not bad. Uh, it's, it's a lot better than it was like before. It was just so soft that every every time I made it, like, you know, hard and moderate tone at speed, it would grind the spin. It was really bad in bottom out suspension. So this is good for now. I do plan on replacing them later. So this is a temporary fix, a little band-aid. The car is done for now, but there's still a lot of other plans for it in the future. Lots of other things we want to do to it, like the Durobo. I want to put fender flares on it, maybe the crash ball. We definitely need a skip plate. That's very important. Okay, we need one of those before we do anything too crazy with it. Because I don't want to punch the door pan, because we've done that once before, and it sucks. I don't want to replace another one. And yeah, maybe put some lights on it, and send it some more. So you guys just definitely stay tuned and come back for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like it. And also subscribe. And... Also hit that notification bell down here somewhere. Looks like a bell. I don't think it jingles. And if you're quarantined like me, stuck at home, nothing to do, well I got plenty of things to do, uh, you can check out one of my other videos where I fix or break things or crash or everything else. Um, but, uh, but until then, stay safe, have fun, don't do anything I would do. Peace out.